Hey guys, this is Snack Attack 8. Welcome back to more Spyro Year of the Dragon. This is part 16. <laughs> he still got it. This is my first playthrough, like always. Uh, last time we defeated the boss of World 2, and we opened our way up here to the third hub world, which is called <laughs> something. And uh, in the. the, the this episode we're gonna go check out what our new pal our new wordy uh, uh, linguistic pal Bentley has in store for us where was Bentley that's the that's that's the, the million dollar question on my mind right now was he in here he was one of the first things we saw we saw in the episode or in the, in the level last time right he's around in one of these caves or something I think here here we go here's where he is all right, Bentley's outpost. Bentley, who I guess has sort of, sort of like a Cockney accent, almost. I'm not sure. Uh, he's got a like a, maybe a more uh, common uh, layman's British accent. I will gladly help you on your quest, Spyro. But first, I must attend to my young sibling. I'm afraid he may have gotten himself into trouble during my absence. Ah, oh, young sibling. <laughs> Because <laughs> we had Sheila, who was Australian. Bentley, I thought, almost sounded a little Australian, too. But I think he's some British variant. Um, and then we had Sergeant Bird is, like, the classic, like, uh, more like uh, old school kind of English. They're all English. And Moneybags is, too. Oh, man, what do I have, like, a shield here? Oh, Bentley, you have a move set. <laughs> Bentley should have been on Smash. <laughs> Look at him go. All right, I guess this is the sibling. This is so cute. He's like a little baby sibling. Hey, bro, it'd be really cool if you smash that boulder. A swift smack should do the trick. <laughs> this is a small Victorian child. All right, Bartholomew. Bentley and Bartholomew. Is there like a... Is there a joke I'm not getting about their like naming convention or something? Listen to this song too. What are you? Oh, you do get sparks in these levels. I don't know. I think I was saying you didn't. I don't know why I was saying that last episode. <laughs> I'm just listening to this music now. <laughs> All right, bro. What's up? I heard those big bullies calling you a wuss. You're not going to let them get away with that, are you? Never. I'm no wuss. I wonder if, like, if they shoot something at me, if I can, like, reflect it. Let's see. Like, what is, uh... I keep pressing triangle when I mean to... I think I'm supposed to be pressing a uh, circle to attack. Oh, man, I'm sorry, little rabbit. You're gonna get absolutely sponched. <laughs> I hear if I break this, too? Yeah. Oh, there was... I was... I see now. That was, like, a ice wall. Like, a transparent wall. Uh, okay. Oh, I like that you can do a jumping slam. Yeah, Bentley is in in the camp of uh, one of those characters that sucks to like run around and jump with, but it seems like uh, this like at least this the way that this level is laid out, it's more about smashing and doing like combat stuff. And that I think if you as long as you focus on that, then that's fun. you use your spin move to deflect the snowball into the gong, I bet we can make the roof cave in. All right, cool, cool. Spin move is square. All right. Oh, he's going to toss him to me. I was thinking maybe I could deflect the... Um, I could deflect the Rhinox attacks back at them. and But those I don't think those guys that we fought before were attacking. But they might. There might be ones that have that. This song is a bop. I'm loving this. <laughs> and I love stomping around the land. <laughs> Let's go, Brian. You want to sit on my shoulders? Oh, he's... What? Did he cough that out? Wait, Brian, give me that back. I need that. I'm not at full health. Wait. All right, here we go. Whoops. It took me forever to train those seals to throw snowballs. Now they've gone and turned on me. 
That's dark. <laughs> I keep trying to press triangle. All right. Whoops. Okay, the spin move you can't hold down forever. But that's definitely what we're doing here. Knocking some of these seals away. It's circle, snack. I don't know. What game was I playing where triangle is like an attack? I don't know what it would have been. Not Spyro. I guess we'll just keep stomping on through. Get out of here, seal. I bet we could cause an avalanche with this one. I guess a lot of like <laughs> she I don't think Sheila's level was really like this, but oh man, there was a guy up there. But this level and and Sergeant Birds too are like seem a lot like they're like you know, you're like just walking through the level with a little guy who's like you know, telling you what to do. Which I think it would be more fun if I could just kind of run around and figure it out for myself, but it's not like, you know, it's not that intrusive. I also died. I guess, was I full? Was I not at full health from the start of this level? I have to take out these seals again. I guess we don't have to, but probably should, because otherwise they'll just keep throwing stuff at me. Get out of here. All right. And I got this. I'm, I'm knocking this guy down again. This guy deserves it. Get out of here, guy. <laughs> Alright, I think this will be lead back to the earlier part of the level. Because I saw that there was some uh, treasure up on a ledge we couldn't get to. I just need to know that I can, like, I need to remember that I can way outrange these, uh, these charging Rhinoc guys. Look at me go. Gunk. <laughs> love this guy it's just his big old ps1 face and just the just everything about him kind of he's funny all right uh all right bro i'll cause an avalanche for us looks like that is that the seal up there is it gonna shoot at me or is he gonna throw me a snowball you gonna throw me a snowball buddy Great. i bet we could cause an avalanche with this one yeah, I think so. Yeah. Pop! Alright. <laughs> Guess that gong caused a giant snowball to run down. Alright, what are we doing here? A stinking Rhinoc has blocked the way with this box. It shouldn't be any problem for you to push it out of the way, though. Okay. Push. Oh, you gotta get the shoulder into it. That's cute. Oh, I got a skill point for that? That was on the level path. That was intended. I guess maybe it was for pushing it all the way off. I'll grab this dragon egg. Cheer up, Charlie. Oh, Charlie is plenty cheered up already. He's moonwalking right out of the gate. Moonwalk it out the yoke. All right, and then I think I'm just gonna smash around here a little bit. And then we'll, we'll figure out what we need to do from Bartholomew in a sec. I'm just stomping around, baby. I like being a big guy. <laughs> yeah, I think not moving particularly slow. And the game asking these are these like are these seals metal? Do they have like spiked colors? Uh not moving like super super slow, and the game not wanting me to like platform through real levels. I think is saving Bentley a little bit here. I think otherwise he'd probably be pretty lame. I feel like I wasn't going anywhere. It would feel like playing as Wario on Mario 64 DS. Which as cool as that is, just isn't really fun to play as. You kind of like never want to be him. Alright. Okay. Is this? What is this? Okay. Just a big clump of snow, I guess. Stuck in the wall. They're throwing treasure at me on this level. All right, if I had to guess, I would say Bartholomew was probably going to tell me to push these blocks into place. But because he's a little cutie, I'm going to talk to him anyway. Hey, Brainiac, you're supposed to be smart. Why don't you try pushing those blocks around to bridge that gap? 
All right. Hey, this guy's got the brains and the bronze. Bentley's the whole package. Bentley should be in Smash Brothers. He's a move set. <laughs> I love this. This like, the, this is this the background music of this level feels like the spiritual sequel to uh, to uh, Magma Cone on Spyro 2 with that weird like, <sighs> like <laughs> the like weird like grumbly like husky vocal track. This feels like the sequel to that. Thanks, bro. Here's a little something for your rock collection. All right, is it not a rock, but an egg, in fact? Oh, that's my name. Hey, good cartwheel, Eric. If only the real Eric could do a cartwheel. He can't. I don't. I can't do one. Question of the day: Can you do a cartwheel? Could you ever? Even when I was a kid, I couldn't do one. The best I could give you was like a tactical roll. <laughs> I've never been that coordinated. I think I've always just been afraid to like fuck up, like afraid to like fall and hurt myself. I, I think when to learn to to learn to be able to learn to do kind of st like a handstand or, or a cartwheel or something like that, you gotta be like okay with just getting scraped up some before you get it. I think when I was a kid, I never wanted to do that. All right, well I'm missing five treasure, <laughs> so that's cool. I'm sure if we had gone and done the Sparks level first, he would have given me that power that lets me see where the treasure is. But alas. Alright, well, I'm going to scotch back through this level. Because it wasn't that long of a level. We can comb it back over. Let's see, this is where the seal guy was. Was there maybe a totem pole that I didn't knock down? Maybe just a stray gem that I left out somewhere. What even over here? Did I knock this one down? I got all the seals. I'm thinking it's got to be closer to the beginning. When I was just like having fun playing as our new guy and I wasn't paying attention. That would be my guess. There it is. Well, hold on. Is this a... F oh, that is a fiver. I don't know why I always think the purple ones are four. All right. Well, that was quick. <laughs> um, Shoot. What should we do? Now, I feel like I've thrown my whole groove off. Uh, Let's see. Let's think. You know what? I think we probably will do the Sparks thing. Let's go. All right. We've done Bentley. Bentley was fun. Bentley was cool. I like him. He's, you know, he's a, a welcome variation kind of to uh, the play styles of the other characters. You know, Star Spyro is kind of an all-rounder. He's he's very mobile. He can do a lot. Um, Sheila, I guess Sheila and Sergeant Bird serve sort of a similar function. Where Sheila's best function is that she can jump really high. But Sergeant Bird can fly and he can also shoot things. So she maybe feels like a little bit more basic than the other guys. Um, but then, of course, Bentley is like the heavy hitter. He's more about, like, combat, I guess. Alright, Sparks' thing... I don't even remember where it is in this level. I think it was over around the side. Are we happy to be back here in, uh... You know, this... This... Whatever this level is called? Are we happy to be back here? Was it over here, maybe? There's, like, a little alcove over here. Uh, where was Sparks' thing? I don't know why I'm thinking it's, like, over here by the, uh... The speedway. Oh, we have to do the speedway too. Maybe next episode we'll do uh, we'll do we'll come back here and do because um, we're already in this world. Maybe next time we'll do Bamboo Terrace and then we'll do the speedway. And then I got all kinds of cool stuff I can do. I can start cracking into the levels proper. I think he was like up here, maybe. No. Where do? Where was Sparks? There he is. Okay, I knew he was like around here. All right. Zoe, I'm ready again. I'm ready. I know it's a shmup this time. If Sparks is up to it, he can try to rescue it from Spider Town. Sparks is always up to it, right, Sparks? And he's over there like, like eating mosquitoes or something. <laughs> Spider Town. Oh my God, we're going to Spider Town, USA.
All right, we got our uh, title screen theme here again. Weird theme. <laughs> Why is it the Sparks theme? Uh, the Sparks level theme. And already we've got like, what is this? Like a s electric spider compound or something? This is wild. All right, here we go. These guys are using like a spread shot. And, and circle is shoot. What was uh, the strafe button? Is it holding R? Okay. I got a power up here. I gotta remember that I can. Uh... Let's see. Okay, I guess that the that green or that that orange key opened the electric gate. All right. Sure. <laughs> Fine. <laughs> oh. Blast! 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 I am real. I have to formally apologize, you guys, for what the audio sounded like in the uh, episode, the first episode of these that we did. Um, I've actually, between, like, right there, but while the level was loading, I've uh, bumped the stage audio down a little bit, or you know, I've bumped my my capture device uh, audio down. Um, uh, but the, the 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 audio was weird on the last couple episodes, not last one, um, but the. Four episodes before that, I like captured it wrong. I, there was something off with my mic, and I, there was like no way that I would have been able to fix it. What am I? Why am I glowing? Am I, am I invincible? This is gonna run out before I'm gonna be able to do anything with it. Is this the way I came? This is the way I came. There we go. Just knock some of these guys out. <laughs> now I'm leaving. I'm going back to get that other power up. Yeah, we're here in the Citadel of Spiders. Which I think is a, the name of a level in another game. Alright, and it's X to pop my special, right? Yeah, X. To pop my special, he says. This is a fighting game. Bentley for Smash. Alright. Just using my spread wave here. I don't even care if I'll need it later. I'm using my spread wave. And it's gone now. Oh no, I'm just hitting the wrong button. Blam! Blam! Alright, now it's gone. Sparks! Going after health when you have full health. <laughs> With nothing to gain but to lose health going after the health. These, I do think that these are cool. I don't know what, what the vibe that I gave off on this was uh, when we did the first one. This is cute. I do. <laughs> I'm I'm charmed that they decided they wanted to put this in their 3D platformer. <laughs> Though I guess again, like thinking about Insomniac, they were clearly like they wanted to go down the shooting path, kind of the more like action, you know, uh, shooting stuff. Seeing as where they're what their next game ended up being, but uh, I think this is cute. It feels like it's supposed to be almost more like a throwback than anything to like. Like older games like this, or just the shmup genre. It's a funny thing to be in Spyro. Alright, so the other electric thing was down past here. I'm these I don't know about. Am I supposed to be able to like am I doing damage to this? In the level that in the first level we did, I think we I felt like we just like uh like this eventually went away, this like shield. I know that those have gems in them though, so I gotta make sure that if it does break, we'll be able to get back here, and, or we'll remember to go back here and get it done. These spiders looking radioactive. Give me that health. Oh man, I didn't notice the little guy behind me. Sparks. Sparks, I'm telling you, you invest in a little sparks. Okay, maybe, oh, maybe it's that. Maybe that disables the barrier. And I just didn't realize that in the last episode. Yeah, okay, that makes more sense. One mystery solved. I'm still not sure in, <laughs> in the last episode, or in the last level like this that we did, the doors were color-coded and you'd get a key that went to the color-coded door. Uh, in this one though, it's just like eh, I don't know. Maybe the keys, uh, maybe the keys blow up or, or keys disable electric fences. 
With, from what I can tell, no color coding differentiation or anything. So that's a little, a little wonky. Unless they are different and like there's the color of the like connecting thing or something like that that I wasn't looking at. I think all the keys have been the same color though. I think they've all been uh, orange or gold like that. I want to save my rockets for like a good part. Okay, hold on. Here's here's the part. Ah! No! I have to start all the way back at the beginning. Uh, even worse, I have to start. I don't know where I am. Oh, I think this is right where I just was. Wasn't it? Yeah, getting the key I think was a checkpoint. Okay. So we go through here. There's a bunch of guys that come down here. Turn around to deal with these guys behind me. I've been so bad at... I know, I, I know you guys have gotten power-ups that I didn't even use. I'm bad at... Because it's it's not like uh, like Contra or something, and it's a different button, the power ups don't just like stack to your. Uh, this is hard. That because the power ups don't just stack to your shot, <laughs> it's like it's throwing me off. I keep forgetting I have them. All right, I'm gonna damage control in in this little corridor for a sec, and then I think I'm just gonna try to get by here. Use our dash a little bit more too, I think. Alright. Key. Big spider. Health. Gem. This. Us. Alright. <laughs> I think we're good. Now we want to blow this one up because we disabled the force field. We disabled the sparks shoot em up force field in Spyro. And now I can go back down through the gate down here. Is this one disabled too? Mm -mm -mm. All right, these guys are just me taking unnecessary damage. These big guys are not really a threat. <laughs> it's just easy to like misgauge how close I am to them. All right, here we go. I'm you. I will use this power. Spread shot. Definitely gonna use it. Definitely using it. I'm gonna get this guy with him too. Oh man, murked. Destroyed. I had a key? Where did I even get that? Alright, now we got our boss. Our boss spider. I'll clean this treasure out here first, I think. I don't know where he is, so that's a little concerning. There he is. Oh! God, what is he? What are you doing, you you crazy creature? Oh man, this is really schmuppy. <laughs> this is really schmuppy. I'm gonna give him his cum schmuppins. I don't know if I'm gonna. <laughs> don't know if I have the firepower to handle this. We just gotta play it real straight here. Even though it looks like you can only hit him very briefly. All well, that time he didn't even like shoot anything out. When he shoots these, uh, like, Galaga waves of, uh, little spiders, I gotta make sure I take them all out. Because they can be dangerous. Oh, man, I got hit by all of them there. I really don't want to die and have to do this all again. No! <laughs> it's the flight pattern, damn it! The flight pattern! Alright, well, I lost my power up, but I think we can do this. It's gotta be real, uh... Gotta be real meticulous with knocking out these little spiders. I kind of like that we're here at this little angle. I don't know what it is about this angle that's giving me uh, confidence. All right, just take him out. All right, that time he didn't do anything. That, we got we got a free one like that before. I don't know if maybe he's like shooting a blast or something that I'm, or maybe I'm just getting them all on spawn. Is that what we're doing? That was pretty easy. Yo, Tootie! Tootie, you're in the wrong game. Go back to Banjo-Kazooie. Alright, um... But, did we get all the treasure? Did I miss one? No, we did. Alright, we got it. Okay, good deal. Um, 
Well, I guess I'll go back into this portal. <laughs> what is my prize? Excellent work, Sparks. And I see that you've gained another new ability. Now, if you hold down the L1, yeah, here we go. R1, and R2 buttons at the same time, Sparks will point to any treasure still hanging around. This is cool. Did anybody, um, did anyone tell you you could do this in Spyro 2? Because I'm pretty sure you can, right? I think that was in that. I know it's in the reignited version of, I think, all of them. But in Spyro 2, I believe you have that power. But I don't know if anyone tells you about it. I think it might just be a secret thing you can know. So I would imagine that a lot of kids would have found out about this for the first time that you can like do this with the treasure. And it probably would have been really helpful for them. I don't know. Why I'm, it's the question of the day. <laughs> Answer my question. Could you do this in base game PS1 Spyro 2? The Sparks thing? I don't remember because I know you just have it in the Reignited Trilogy. Oh. I believe the denizens of this land plan to create a rocket propulsion device of some kind in order to help you with your journey. I'll try to be of some assistance, but I'm afraid you'll still need a representative from each world in order to complete the device. Hey, good job, Bentley. I will allow you to represent me. I think you would do a fine job. I think there's there's lawyering or lecture giving in your future, Bentley. He's so articulate. Hey, guys. I am i don't know what level we're going to do today. I'm excited. I'm excited to, like, or, what you know, what le not today. This episode's over. I'm sure you can tell by the, the time code. I don't know what level we're going to do on the next episode. They kind of all sound good. Lost Fleet sounds cool. Fireworks Factory sounds insane. Um, I mean, I guess we could do what we said, and we could go, uh... Go, go back and finish uh, what's it called and then we could do the speedway maybe we'll do that next time I think that's what we'll do next time just get that out of the way and then, uh, then we'll start cracking down hey but this episode was a lot of fun thank you guys all so much for watching we got an introduction to Bentley we saw what he could do we met his little cute little brother Bartholomew <laughs> and we beat the uh, second sparks level the citadel of spiders uh, next time, I don't know. We already talked about that. I'll see you next time, guys. Big love. Thank you all for watching. Peace. Splash.